Hey, how are you? Today's video is pretty low key compared to a lot of my last ones. I am back in China and I'll be going into a Chinese convenience store, Family Mart, that's the most common one around here, and sampling a lot of the weird snacks they have in there that you probably can't find back in the US. Whoa, whoa, that's weird. Whoa, whoa, that's weird. All right, so let's start off looking at the chips. Now, we do have some Lay's, but ooh, grilled eel Lay's. I'll grab a bag of these. We also have cucumber Lay's. Oh, what are these? These are peach flavored Lay's. I normally don't like to mix my fruits with my chips, but I'll grab a bag. Damn, they also have just like flower flavored Lay's. Come on, rose flavored Lay's? This bag looks like it's a couple years old. I'll get all three. All right, back to the chips. Cheetos, tomato Cheetos, chili Cheetos. Those look good. I've also seen like shrimp Cheetos. I don't know if this place has them. They also got spicy crayfish flavored Lay's. I think I have enough chips. Here they have like Disney princesses selling collagen protein. What's a better spokesperson for collagen protein than Disney princesses? No thank you. These are actually great. It's like ramen noodles, but ramen noodles that don't have to be cooked. You can just eat them straight out the package like I did at uh, the Chinese Burning Man that I went to. So I will grab a packet of these. Pockies are huge in Asia. They're good, they're just like little sticks with frosting on them. I'll pass on those. I'm only, I'm only getting the weird shit. All right, now let's check out the beverages. Ooh, ooh what is this? Yeah, we got a, a coffee flavored Coca-Cola. I'll get one of those. Down here, these are the alcoholic beverages. Yogurt drink plus vodka. Sounds gross, but I'll try it. Holy shit. 7-Up Mojito. That sounds incredible. This isn't like an alcoholic mojito. This is just a mojito flavored 7-Up. Love the packaging. This is probably the best thing I've found so far. I'll definitely throw one of those in the crate. Oh my God. We have a salted caramel Pepsi. Yep. I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna drink all these sodas, but we'll get them for the sake of content. One of my favorite drinks in China, it's a Japanese drink, it's Pokari Sweat. It tastes like Gatorade or Powerade. I just feel like it's weird that it's called Sweat. I it just like, it like, makes me think I'm drinking bottled sweat. But this stuff's great. I do love how they now have Goose Island IPA. Used to never be able to find IPAs in China, but then craft beers blew up over the last five years. It used to be the only beers you could find were like Suntories, which are like 3.6% alcohol. I think most Chinese beers are, just like the Tsingtao. Here are a bunch of Chinese pre-packaged meals. They've got these little rice seaweed sticks. It's not like sushi. They're usually filled with something that's been cooked, like tuna salad. I used to eat them my first few years in China when I was dead broke. Down here, these are duck tongues. Duck tongues are actually pretty good, especially spicy duck tongues. And duck necks. Duck necks are good too. I, I threw those at the Stefan Marbury statue up in Beijing. Let's go, shacks. Huh. Okay. And dried squid. Everybody loves packages of dried squid here. They also just have pieces of uh, corn packaged up, little corn packs. Chicken chow, you me? You me, yeah. That's that's the word for corn in Chinese. Here's the candy section. Um, they just came out with a lemon flavored Snickers. And uh, they actually also have a coconut flavored Snickers, which I have back at my apartment, I believe. So we can sample one of those. The Oreo flavors here look very normal, but I was in this like third tier Chinese city and they had peach and grape Oreos. 
That sounds like a disgusting combo, but uh, they did have it. I have the photos to prove. At one point in China, they came out with spicy chicken flavored Oreos and wasabi flavored Oreos. I tried those. They, they were not good. I do not recommend them. This is one of the other types of food I never touch in Chinese convenience stores. They just have all these like meat sticks and meatballs soaking in God knows what. I never eat those. I sometimes eat these. These are little steamed buns that they have. Not too bad. But uh, yeah, I don't touch the mystery meat. All right, I think we are wrapped up. Time to check out. I'm going to feel like absolute horseshit after eating all this stuff. A funny thing about China is that, um, I mean, they do have the condoms at checkout, but they also have like cock rings, dildos, vibrators, a vibrating egg, tons of lube. They have everything. So um, if you need anything, just head up a Chinese convenience store. Always that pay with WeChat. Uh, okay. Oh, and there's a dude sitting on my bike. Anyhow, give us your water. All right, now it's time to scooter home and sample these. All right, all the goods have been assembled. I'm just going to do rapid fire reviews on all these. Each product is going to get a rating zero through three. Zero means whatever you do, don't try it. One means not good, but it's not gonna kill you. Two means it's decent, but you don't need to like fly out to China to eat it. Three means it's incredible and you should find a Chinese friend to mail you some. Okay, so let's start with the grilled eel lays. Strong flavor. <laughs> I love eel at sushi restaurants, but I don't really need to taste it in chip form because you know it's an artificial eel flavoring and that kind of weirds me out. But I'm not horrified by it. So the eel chips are getting a two. All right, next up, we got the yogurt drink plus vodka, only 3% alcohol, so you know, you're not gonna get much of a buzz. I haven't really heard of any like yogurt vodka drinks before. I mean, I know of like a white Russian, that's vodka and milk. This is good, not gross at all, actually. It tastes like a slightly creamier Smirnoff ice. I don't hate this at all, but once again, it's like, this is not worth flying to China for. Um, and it's only 3%, so I, I don't really know what's the point of drinking an alcoholic beverage that's only 3% alcohol. So this is also getting a two. Next up, the flour flavored lays. Don't have high hopes for these. Oh my God, I eat weird shit like all the time. I've only had that type of reaction once before and that was when I ate a fucking starfish. Oh my God, what fucking poop. You guys got a fucking trash can? You sell fucking starfish and you don't have a fucking trash can. All right, these are going strong zero. Oh, I need some more of this fucking yogurt vodka. You guys know me. I have a very strong palate. I can like, I can eat whatever. Fuck, that might actually crack top five grossest things I've had before. I need my potato chips to be salty and savory, not fucking sweet. Oh God, All right, these are going directly in the bin. Next up, Coca-Cola coffee. The coffee taste isn't too strong. I guess it's just got a slight coffee aftertaste. I will say this, if you start drinking these in the morning instead of coffee, you're a fat fuck. That is a fat fuck move. Um, and it will lead to morbid obesity. So uh, I wouldn't really, you know, start drinking this over coffee. But it's not gross. 
at all. I wonder if it has more caffeine than a normal Coca-Cola. In which case, you know, if you really need a pick-me-up, it could come in handy. Um, not crazy though. I wouldn't really say it's it's good. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with a one on that. I'm not a huge soda guy. I mean, I do drink my Fantas from time to time, but I don't have the healthiest eating habits. But I don't drink a lot of soda, and that's why I'm not fat. A little chubby, but I'm not fat. Oh God! All right, time for the peach lays. It's gonna be another sweet potato chip, but I don't think it can be worse than the flour chips. All right, here we go. These aren't good, but these are edible. You know, like those sour peaches? It tastes like a hybrid between one of the sour peaches and a potato chip. So not good, but not making me vomit. I can keep them down. These are getting a one. All right, on to the uh, salted caramel Pepsi. This is good. I feel like um, a Jack and Coke, but instead of Coke, you use salted caramel flavor Pepsi. That would be a tasty drink. It tastes like the fall. I'm giving this a two. If I was a kid, back when I used to drink a lot of soda, I would love this. Speaking of soda, I got the Frank the Tank shirt on. He's a huge soda guy. He, he would probably love this. All right, we're giving that a two. All right, on to the Snickers. Now, as you saw in the store, they had the lemon Snickers, but I also found a coconut Snickers. All right, let's try the lemon first. Ooh, white chocolate. Not bad at all. The lemon taste is not overpowering, so it still definitely tastes like a Snickers. You just got a hint of lemon. We're going to. Not bad at all. All right, next up, the coconut. You know what the coconut tastes like? You guys know macaroons? It was like coconut cookies. It tastes like a, a macaroon mixed with some caramel and peanuts. We're giving it a two because I don't know. The original Snickers is pretty good. Um, I'd probably still prefer that. So if you see it, you should try it, but it's, it's not gonna change your life. We are on to what I'm most excited to try, the 7-Up Mojito. This tastes exactly like a mojito and I love mojitos, but I would never drink like a non-alcoholic mojito. This is very good. I think it just needs a little bit of rum. If you don't have the time to go out and buy mint and buy lime, but you want to serve people mojitos, you can just buy this, a bottle of rum, boom. You got mojitos for the party. This will be another two. And last but not least, the edible instant noodles. I love these. I wish they had these in the US. I mean, something needs to be incredible for it to get a three. So I don't think I can give these a three, but I will say out of everything I had today, the edible instant noodles were definitely the best. A huge fan of these. I like them more than like most potato chips. They got a solid spice too. All right, that's a wrap. Whatever you do, stay away from the flour flavored lace. That's all I can tell you. Hope this was informative. Whoa, whoa, that's weird. Whoa, whoa, that's weird. Really fucking weird. Holy fucking shit.